Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, September 24th, 2024. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, CDM number nine. Now, we have an easterly wind component continuing, and that's producing broken to overcast cloud cover throughout the region. A few isolated showers and a little bit of drizzle here and there, but that is about it. Temperatures range from the lower to mid 50s in your higher elevations mid to upper 50s over the rest of the northern interior upper 50s to lower 60s in your suburbs lower to mid 60s in your urban areas that onshore flow is going to continue to produce the potential for some minor coastal flooding but the good news is that the astronomical high tides backing off and so will the threat for coastal flooding but still about one to two feet above your normal high tide still expected with this consistent easterly wind pattern. On the latest radar and surface map from weather tap, you can see a stationary front off to our southwest and a threat for a few isolated showers. A lot of this is not reaching the ground yet as we have some dry air in the mid levels of the atmosphere, but I can't rule out an isolated shower here and there throughout the day today, along with plenty of cloudy skies. Now, on the latest infrared satellite picture, there's a lot going on here. So let's talk about it. Now, we have a warm front here approaching. We have an upper level low here. We have this disturbance diving in. This is really important for this feature here. This is potential tropical cyclone number nine. It's still rather disorganized, but regardless of what the strength is going to be, there is very strong agreement on where this storm is going to track. The reason why is because we know this feature right here is getting ready to cut off as an upper level low. It's very strong agreement. And so when you get an upper level low cut off here and you have an upper level low cut off here, then you get this feature lifts through and then you get high pressure setting in here. Well, that kind of forces whatever develops down here to lift up towards the Florida Panhandle by the time we get to about Thursday and then kind of fester over the southeast and the uh, Tennessee River Valley the next couple of days into the weekend. So the track of whatever develops here is pretty much locked in in terms of the setup here. The question is, what is going to be the intensity? I talk about this in great detail in the premium video forecast discussion, so definitely check that out. Uh, only $15 a month. But basically what the NHC is expecting is that whatever develops here, and uh, this might be a little bit too far northwest in terms of where the actual low-level center is, but whatever does develop here is eventually going to get turned towards the eastern Gulf Coast and towards this area of Florida, very, very strong agreement. The model guidance is literally layered on top of each other right here. So we have pretty strong agreement that something is going to be developing and lifting north. Whether it becomes a tropical storm, a weak hurricane, or a major hurricane, that is pretty much in debate. But one thing that is very much not in debate is the potential for very heavy rainfall over Georgia and Florida for the end of the week, which might create some havoc for those of you who are keeping an eye on the Mets versus Braves game, especially for Thursday. Very strong winds, coastal flooding. So if you have any friends and family down in this area, uh, hopefully they either are prepared or have evacuated uh, to get to safer locations because this has the potential even if it doesn't become a major hurricane to be rather nasty with the potential for very very heavy rainfall in this setup that usually is a major concern when you have an upper level low pressure system interacting with tropical moisture whether it's an organized system or not closer to home you can see as the sun is starting to rise plenty of low clouds coming in from the atlantic mid-level clouds coming in from the ohio river valley setting up Increasing clouds around Connecticut, cloudy day for much of the rest of the region, with again a threat for a few of those pesky isolated showers. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Onshore flow continues, an easterly wind, cloudy skies, a few isolated showers, highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. For tonight into tomorrow morning, cloudy skies, a few isolated showers are possible, lows in the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s in your suburbs, lower to mid 60s in the Delaware River Valley. For tomorrow afternoon, cloudy skies, isolated to widely scattered showers are a threat with high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s over the northern interior, upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast. 
On Thursday, a cold front will be moving through the region with scattered showers expected. Look for low temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s, high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s over the northern interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast, and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. While that's happening, Whatever decides to develop down here in the eastern Gulf Coast will be heading towards Florida, either as a tropical storm or a hurricane, possibly a strong hurricane. Again, we'll keep an eye on it. The moisture associated with this tropical system will also be interacting with our upper level lows. So you're going to have widespread rainfall throughout the southeast. The cold front moving through and the rainfall associated with that is separate from whatever develops here. So I just want to make that very clear. On Thursday night into Friday morning, the cold front drops south, still a few lingering showers, but this acts like a barrier for anything that is for, that is lingering here around Georgia, so the moisture isn't going to get pushed further north. So you have this stationary front starting to set up, or let's say stalling around, let's say keep May down through the Delmarva Peninsula. It's going to lead to clearing skies further to the north, so look for low temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, mid to upper 50s in your suburbs, lower to mid 60s in your urban areas. By the afternoon hours, look for sky cloud cover throughout the region. Still a few isolated showers possible down towards Cape May and Atlantic City. Look for high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s. On Saturday, the high pressure system puts up a fight. I'm expecting variable cloud cover. Still a threat for an isolated shower down to us, let's say Cape May, but that's about it. Look for temperatures to range from the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior and your suburbs, lower 60s in your urban areas. High temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s. On Sunday, high pressure remains in control with clear skies and low temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to lower 50s and high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s. On Monday, high pressure remains in place. Again, notice all that moisture from the remnants of whatever is developing down here in the Caribbean is just going to stay locked in the Ohio River Valley, Tennessee River Valley and southeast and not make it towards us. So look for temperatures to range from the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior, lower to mid 70s for highs. And then on Tuesday, a cold front will be moving through the region with a wave of low pressure along it, leading to scattered showers throughout the region. Look for low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s and high temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe out there.